Oh, guys. Here we are. The next game of the Blackwell Legacy. Or Blackwell series. The Blackwell Convergence. Oh. I don't really like this art that much, but let's start. Here we go. Miles. New York City, Upper West Side, 5.30 p.m. I'm going to turn down a little. My ease is being raped. Hello? Anybody there? You're really expecting an answer. I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. A tutorial? Sure, why not? I can't see anything in there. <laughs> okay, all right. Joey, the door is locked. Rosa interacted with the door, but it's locked. Things are never that easy, are they? Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. Go, Joey. But Joey's a ghost and can slip through easily. You can switch between the characters by clicking the buttons to the main interface. To activate the interface, Use your mouse cursor to the top of the screen. So this looks like it's not going to be... Let's see. The panel from that just dropped down is the main interface. From here you can access Rose Angela's notebook, Rose Angela's inventory, and various game options. Right now we're mainly interested in the buttons labeled J and R. Those buttons let you switch control between Joey and Rose Angela. Currently, you are controlling Rose Angela. Kick the J button to switch control over to Joey. Excellent! We're now controlling Joey. You can also switch your characters by pressing the tab key on your keyboard. Oh, thank God. Let's see if Joey has better luck with the door. Left click the door to make Joey interact with it. So this already looks like it's going to be trouble because it's not going to be all that conducive to my problem which is that the recording tab is right at the top of the screen right over what I need to see it's very annoying but let's see we're Joey let's go through the door hmm charming well what do you see nothing yet I'll see if there's a way to open that door. Awesome! Joey made it through. Unfortunately, Rosangela is still stuck. In addition to interacting with objects, you can look at objects as well. Right click on objects to get a description of them. Help Joey find a way to open the door by looking, i.e. right clicking, around the room. Hint, look for something that glints. Oh, now they give us uh, tips. Can't say much for the decor. Just an old desk. Just some desk drawers. Just some desk drawers. Oh, there's something. Looks like a paper clip. Maybe this paper clip can help. How? Joey has one ghostly power at his disposal. He can generate a light breeze. It's kind of lame. Left click on the paper clip to make him interact with it. Hey, Dollface, I got a present for you. Joey, a paper clip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I, I do with this? Try opening the door with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? <laughs> Rosangela now has a paper clip in her inventory. Maybe she can use it to get through the door. Switch back to Rosangela and look. Learn how to use inventory items. You're now controlling Rosangela again, even if you can't see her. Since the main interface is open, we can see the inventory and look, there's a paper clip. Now let's try using the amount on the door. Left click paper clip and then click door. I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. It's an old door. It shouldn't be any trouble. Liar. It keeps slipping. This isn't going to... 
work. Oh, ye of little faith. I kind of like the no ghosts. Not yet. You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel something. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. Congratulations! You got both Rose Angela and Joey past the door. You're on your own for now. They investigate the room by interacting and looking and see what you can find. Easy enough. What's this? Newspaper? March 15, 2007. Something fly city post. The city post. Late city final. Mostly storm clouds. Campaign jinx by Jerry Sams. City Commissioner Hopeful Alex Sylvia announced a home base change yesterday after renovations of the new campaign headquarters at 354 West 80th failed to go as planned. The decision comes after the month of difficulty. Three construction contractions contractors hired to do renovations have all left the job without warning. None of the contractors could be reached for comment, but Sylvia's critics have joked the campaign is jinx before it's even begun. Well, I guess it does. Huh. Hold on one sec, guys. Luckily for me, the setup is still slightly similar to the last one, so like the inventory and stuff I can get to. But, um... A paperclip won't be much use there. Still gonna suck that a again. Paper I don't want the paperclip. How do I stop using stuff? A paperclip won't be much use there. How do I drop the item? Close. There we go. A paperclip won't... How Looks the like the workers left this one behind. Either that or they put it up before leaving. Oh, Joey. Yeah? I think I found it. Well, will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. As much as I'd love to walk on a window ledge in the rain, I think I'll pass. There's nothing on there but dust. There's nothing on there but dust. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Looks like an obituary. Obituary. Alan Rankin of Rankin Publishing and Supply was found dead yesterday afternoon. Witnesses saw Reineken fall from a great height landing on the sidewalk outside of his office building at 354 West 80th Street. Officer and the scene Officers at the scene ruled the death a suicide. Oh dear. Note, Alan Rinkin obituary. Who committed suicide and his body was out behind outside this building. Great. Close. There's nothing else in the- I can't move the desk. There's nothing else- Alright, Tab, let's go, Joey. Alright, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. <laughs> You've already done it, pal. Get him to relax. All right, pal. Take a deep breath and relax. Relax? Relax? Yes. You think I can relax? Mm. If I could relax, you'd think I'd be out here? Probably I don't not. know. Why don't you tell me about it? Don't come any closer. I swear, I'll jump. <laughs> jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do. Ghost on the ledge. There's a ghost on the ledge of an empty high-rise office. He's threatening to jump. I find that ghosts that try to threaten death don't um, do too well. Hey, let's get out of this rain. What rain? Um, this rain? Take a look around. It's pouring cats and dogs out here. I don't feel any rain. That's because... Ah, forget it. 
Ghosts are so stupid. Except for Joey. He's cool. Um, I think this might be too little too late. What do you mean? I mean you can't kill yourself. You're already dead. What? I said you're already dead. That's... sick. You're insane. Get off my ledge. <laughs> Says the guy who wants to jump. Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while. You might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no. Just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? Mm. Listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem... strange? Out of place or off kilter? No. You don't remember falling? Falling? No! Of course not! I came out here and stayed! I haven't jumped yet! Right, right. Never mind. Mm. Surely things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? Yeah. To have everything you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about that, yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. Nice view, huh? Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that way. Now, I'm not sure. So what happened, Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. Hmm. When it happened, I lost everything. Mm -hmm. Everyone deserted mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. People I thought were friends. And they weren't your friends. Even Sandra. Sandra? Who's my Sandra? wife. Oh. Where is your wife? She left. She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. Oh. I thought she'd stick by me. She must That's be what a you're gold supposed digger. to do, right? Yeah. Hey, your wife's inside. Really? Yeah, she wants to talk to you. I don't believe you. Come on, now's your chance to win her back. Well, all right. There she is. That's my wife? That's Sandra? Wife? Sure, don't you recognize her? It's hard to see clearly for some reason. Is that red hair? She dyed it. Go on, talk to her. <laughs> she Sandra? dyed it. Is that really you? Uh, yes. Sure. Sure, it's me. I'm yes. Sandra. Why are you here, Sandra? How is it, even well, with this animation, uh, her smile is still creepy? You still love him. You made a mistake. I, uh, made a mistake, Alan. I shouldn't have left you. A mistake? Why should I trust you now, Sandra? After you left and sick lawyers on me, taking what little I had left. That's true. You destroyed me, Sandra. If I jump, it'll be your fault. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Way to go. What? I've never been a wife before. <sighs> I'm gonna take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. That. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. The world's full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all weepy over just one. Come on. Look at me. I'm pushing 50, overweight, and not to mention broke. Yeah, what woman is. would want me? Mm. Hey, you like redheads? Huh? It's a simple question. <laughs> Do you like redheads? Sure, I guess. Great, I've got a girl who's perfect for you. You do? Sure, she's inside. Wanna meet her? Is this a trick? Of course not. Okay. Okay. There she is. Go on, introduce yourself. She's kind of young for me, isn't she? Don't let that stop you. What are you doing? <laughs> and the Shh. smile. Go on, crazy. Tiger. She's waiting. Go on, Tiger. So, you've been asking about me. Oh, um, sure. Really? Why? Well, uh... 
You think he's cute? I, um, think you're cute. Cute? Yes. Me? Sure. Yes. Please. This is some kind of gag. No. No, really. I have a mirror. I'm not blind. Don't you patronize be so me. Down on yourself, You've got some ugly angle. Guy? I don't like it. Thanks for trying, but this isn't going to work. Son of hey, a wait! Bitch. She was trying to be nice. Did you just try to set me up? Just call me Matchmaker Malone. I'm not seducing a ghost. You don't have to go all the way. N O spells no. I'm gonna take another. Okay. Hey. Oh. Hey, there's some venture capitalist inside. Wants to talk to you about starting another business? Really? Someone wants to start a business with me. I feel That's like... That's what she said. Why don't you come inside and talk to her? Well, okay. There's your investor. She's heard about your old business and wants to join forces. Is that right? You bet. This isn't some kind of gag? Of course not. She's loaded. Go on, talk to the lady. So, what's the story? You really want to invest in a bankrupt publishing supply company? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Why? Well, uh... You seem like a smart businessman. Smart? If I was smart, would I have put all my goods in one warehouse? Yes, it doesn't really seem When that seem warehouse smart. caught fire, I lost everything. And I'm gonna That's give it back smart. to you. That's stupid. You really want to do business with a guy like me? Yes. You've got some angle here. I don't trust you. Thanks for trying. Hey, what? She was trying to be nice. Ugh. Way to impress him with your business know-how. Way to put me on the spot. Hey, Red, you got a minute? What is it, Joey? Hey, why don't you try snooping around? You think there's a clue here? There's gotta be something. It's a long way down from here. If you want to jelly up the pavement, this is a good place to make sure it's done right. That's kind of tasteless. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Mm. Well, let's get- Yeah. Nothing else. There's nothing on there. Hmm. As much as I- I think I'll pass. Okay, I'll- Try one more time. Hey, yeah. Oh. So your wife left you, huh? Yeah. Figures. What? Look at yourself. Everyone knows that if a ship is sinking, you abandon it. I can't blame her for leaving. Anybody would. That's... That's... <sighs> completely true. You know, you're right. I can't think of any woman who would be attracted to you. You really think so? Sorry, pal. That's the way I see it. I always thought that. But to hear someone else say it, it hits very close to home. Ah, man, this is cruel, even for me. One more blow to his ego and he's bound to go over the edge. Do I really want to save him this way? Yep. No. Hey, Alan, I'm gonna... Don't, uh, go anywhere. All right. Man, this is going to be awkward. Why is that? The guy's threatening to jump. Jump? Yeah. Well, how can he... Yeah, it's an odd one. Hey, Dollface, get your head out of the clouds and over here. Yeah, Joey? If we knew more about the guy, we might be able to save him. Have you tried talking to him? It's like running into a brick wall. Well, if anyone's an expert on going through a brick wall, it's you. Huh? You know, being a ghost and all. Ho <laughs> ho Cute. <laughs> you just gonna stand there? Do something productive, why don't you? I'm doing the best I can. What else can I do? Investigate. Move stuff around. Use those hands and arms. I gotta think of everything? Yes. 
Well, let's get back to it. Yeah. There's nothing else in the desk. There's nothing. Looks like desk drawers to me. There is the castle. I guess the weather is appropriate. If there was ever a. As much as I'd love to, I think I'll pass. There's nothing on there but relatives of yours, Joey. Huh? You know the spooky sheet. I don't get it. Never mind. Nest. I wonder how much a view like this costs. Probably worth millions, even if it is haunted. As much as I, I think I'll. I can't move. Hey, think we're done? Not yet, dear. Let's poke around some more. There's nothing here to poke around. I've looked at everything. I guess the weather is appropriate. If there was ever a per. Ugh. Whatever. I want to make him jump. I think I'll leave. I'm gonna take it. Okay. Let's see if he'll let us tell him that. Hey. Oh. So you ran your business into the ground. Well, yeah, I guess. And I thought you were a businessman. I am a businessman. Not anymore, you're not. No, I'm not. You're just a little man with a big office and a view he doesn't deserve. And you're way too old and tired to start over. Yeah. What's the point? I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, I think you do. I do? You're looking right down at it. You're right. You're so right. It's over. It's... This is it. Huh? Oh! Whoops! I've been here before. I'm sorry. But it was an accident! I wasn't really going to jump! I was going to go back in! It's too late now. I slipped and fell! I didn't want to jump! I remember. I remember falling. Wishing I had a second chance. But maybe... Maybe it's for the best. I didn't have much to live for anyway. I'm sorry, pal. So what now? I haunt this ledge forever? No. I'm here to help you move on. Just come inside with me. Are you ready, Alan? I guess. Let's get this over with. Just take a hold of this. Alright. Okay. Do it. Nope. Hmm. Down she goes. I can't help but think we could have handled that better. I wonder if this game gives you more options to, like, fuck up. He didn't even say anything. Bam, bam. I still like the other music better, quite honestly. Nothing's wrong with this one, just... I don't know. Not what I was expecting. Kinda catchy. Nope, she just gets back up. Oh, and there they go! Well. I guess it's not so bad. Very catchy. Not our best work, but we got him in the end. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although... What? Isn't there something we're supposed to do tonight? I don't think so. I feel like we're forgetting something. I'd ignore that feeling if I were you.
forgetful Rosa. I have a nagging feeling I'm supposed to be de something. I usually write stuff like this down. Where would I have written it? All right, guys. Um, I'm already way over the time that I normally like to do for those videos, but I feel like this was a good introduction to Blackwell Convergence. And um, I'm really sad because there's only one more game after this, but actually I heard there's a prospective game in uh, the fall. So coming up soon, actually. Anyways. I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, fave. Tell me how much you like this. Give me some tips or some games to add to my list. I could always use some more. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.